Hey ladies and gentlemen, I got another school board thing for you. Um, little kid, well-mannered, autistic, having difficulties but still putting her in position to stand up for her values that her parents taught her. Before we start, remember to like, share, hit the bell notification, share the word because this has to reach as many people as possible. And thank you Grassroot Army for sharing this video. Um, I would like to um, explain of my teachers. Wait, my teachers were going to explain of my, um, explain of my teachers. Wait, my teachers were going to spend, um, send me to the principal's office when I told them that I was against my beliefs and that I felt uncomfortable. Um, there is a female, which I'm not exactly sure. I'm not, it isn't my religion to know what are people and what are, like, what they identify or do not identify. Um, True. I got in trouble one time, many times, many times, um, of my English teacher, Mr. Moore. I got in trouble because I called this girl, uh, Kenny, a girl. I got in trouble for it because I wasn't exactly sure. I, I, I never knew what it was. And my teacher said, I used the wrong pronoun. That's not what they identify as. I said I'm not exactly sure if they have breath and ovaries in a vagina. And um, I wasn't exactly sure. I sure they have short hair and that's what they identify as um, and their pronoun. I got in trouble for it many times, either through adult or student. I got in trouble one time for um, calling this girl, Kenny, a girl. I said, hey, this is so sad because I have a special needs kids that might have the same situation as this girl. And the fact that you put her on the spot for something that's really hard for them to identify because they live life on face value. No wonder they get confused. No wonder many of them transition because you blur the water even more and now you want to demonize them. I'm like, come on, man. This is one of the most disgusting things that I've seen and I had to speak. So don't, even if you think it's well mannered, I had to speed this video a little because she speaks differently. And I can imagine a teacher that hears a kid speak differently and still push them in that direction. Kenny and I, I used the word she when I was using my assignment because we were working together. Um, I was also in the girls locker room. I don't like to dress that at all. and. Uh, that's not okay. Um, well, I got in trouble for it because I did not dress out in front of other people. I didn't dress out for many reasons. One, there's male teachers inside of the girls' locker room talking to my, um, Miss Lewis. They go to the same, they, the girls' locker room and then there's Miss Lewis' office. Miss Lewis has her door open and then there's male teachers inside of the, the her office. Um, I never wanted to see that. Um, that's why I don't dress out to a PE. So you have to worry about your daughter or kids dressing in the opposite bathroom in front of teachers and kids. Um, I, I was scared. I was terrified. And then, um, that I was afraid of somebody staring at me, a male, an adult male, staring at me while I'm changing. That's why I don't change. And now she's a bigot. There was another issue. I am in the special day classes and I have a one-on-one -on -one aid. My one-on-one -on -one aid was Cameron, but they called him Cam. I asked it, I guess I was mistaken or corrected by calling Cameron Miss Cam. Also, if you use the wrong name, you're dead naming, by the way, for the people that don't know. You're not allowed to use the previous name they were used to. And me as a person with MS, which usually has issues with names, I just invent a new name because I don't play that stupid game. My parents had always taught me that adults a male is Mr. and their last name or their first name. Female is Miss or Mrs. It's a married and of their first name or their last name. Simple. Um, with Cameron, I called him, yeah, I called him Miss Cameron because I saw the breath. I'm not saying that I can see well, what their private parts are because that would be kind of weird. I saw breath. 
Sad. I called him Miss Cameron. Um, many times, more than one time, I have been uh, ignored by my own teachers because I called him by the wrong pronoun. And suddenly, she's the bully? Come on, people. Why don't you see this and call this teacher out? This is a person that usually doesn't understand the situation. And it's not coming from a bad place. It's coming out of honesty that they're freaking confused. I've always been ignored by calling Cameron a mess instead of a mister. I wasn't exactly sure what that was because I wasn't raised like that. So I called Cameron Miss Kim. They didn't like to call them Cameron, but it was Miss Kim. My parents taught me if they're confused, just call them by their first name. I always thought that that was disrespectful. So I called them Cameron. Um, hey, I'm, I'm sorry that your five minutes is up. I'm, I'm not. Thank I'm, you for sharing. Yeah, with us. thank you. Okay, thanks. The way she had to say thank you or your time is running up, okay, okay, and she walks away still looking at you in that way. It's a thing that I can see in many autistic kids because they're very aware that they need to see you when they're trying to be part of something that they don't understand. And it's sad. And the fact that you put a kid in that position, and if you put my kid through that, I will do everything I can to get you fired and that you lose your job because you don't care about my kid. If people don't care about the kids that's trying to hang out with kids that are normal so they can understand life, so can they, they can survive on their own, the fact that you do this, you're making it even worse. The fact that your ideology is pushing so hard that you're like, you know what? I don't care what you think because you're not like normal people. I have a big issue with it when you have a society that a huge percentage are kids like this. So you only like those that still think like you. Popolagi neck, man. You're gonna learn today.